Before I start this video, I just want to say I hope everybody had an awesome Halloween. Sadly, I was sick the past week, so I wasn't able to make any videos, but I will catch up this month. Also, I've been getting a lot of requests to bring back my sweaters, so please make sure to check out my new clothing store. Every purchase greatly helps the channel. The link will be in the description or in the top comment. Now, New Guinea is one of the most mysterious places on Earth. New species are discovered here all the time. And because the forest is so thick on this island, most of this place is still unexplored to this very day. And what I want to talk about today is some explorers believe that there is a large unknown animal that lives on this island, and it is known as the Devil Pig in New Guinea. Some even think that it's a giant ground sloth. The first report from Western explorers happened in the late 1800s, when an explorer, Sidney Smith, and Captain Moresby stumbled upon an unusual pile of dung while they were exploring New Guinea. And to them, it looked like the dung of a rhinoceros, which was very odd. There are no known animals like that that live on this island. Then not too long after, a German zoologist wrote that while he was hunting in New Guinea, the natives told him that there was a large animal that lived in the forest. But the sightings of them, even from the natives, were extremely rare. Then in 1906, a British explorer was in New Guinea when he claimed that he saw signs that a very big unknown animal lived here as he stumbled upon some very large cloven footprints. Then on the same expedition, a man named Oji claimed to have actually seen one with his own eyes. He too discovered some large tracks, so he decided to follow them. Then he saw two of them. He stated that they were very large animals that kind of looked like large pigs. They had dark patterns on their bodies, had long snouts with a horse-like bushy tail. And this man was terrified because they were just so big and also because he had never seen anything like it before. But instead of running away or leaving them alone, he decided to shoot at them because he believed that they were devils, not regular animals. But his hands were shaken so badly that he wasn't able to kill one. Now when the media found out about this alleged encounter, they wrote a lot of articles about it. One article stated, The huge Gazeka turned upon him as it reared upon its hind legs and pawed the air. It looked to the hunter as big as a house standing 25 feet high. Two of the explorer's bullets seemed to take effect as a stream of blood flowed freely from the animal's shoulder. But before OG was able to reload, the animal turned and fled. By that time it was too dark to follow him, and OG never had another opportunity to renew his pursuit. Now this article made a lot of people believe without a shadow of a doubt that there was some sort of huge unknown animal that lived here, even though there was still no proof. Just a very interesting alleged sighting. Then later that year, a crew member from a steamer was exploring the Baxter River when he claimed that he stumbled upon some very large cloven footprints. And he knew that there was no known animal that lived in New Guinea that was this big. So he told his other crew members and this story also blew up. Another account happened in the early 1900s when a naturalist, Walter Goodfellow and his team was sent to Papua New Guinea to study the native birds. And in a report, this expedition claimed they had discovered a prehistoric monster larger than an elephant. They also stated that they had encountered a race of marvelous pygmies that the world had never seen before. But yet again, they didn't bring back any actual evidence. Then finally, in 1920, a man claimed to have gotten a tusk from one of these creatures from the natives, but it just vanished. Then in 1952, there was a sighting by pilots flying over New Guinea. These pilots stated that they saw some very large animals that looked like huge red elephants down below. Now this was the last documented sighting, and because there were quite a few reports of this creature, some believe that it does exist. And because this animal looked nothing like other similar sized animals that we know about, people wonder, could it be some sort of once thought to be extinct marsupial? Now I know that sounds crazy, but New Guinea is one of the most isolated locations in the world. So if there was a place on Earth where a large animal could hide from us, New Guinea would be the place to look. Now this case reminds me of Mokeli Mbembe, a dinosaur that some believe lives in the Congo, and I have covered this before. Now eyewitnesses claim that this creature is 35 feet long, has brownish skin, and has a very long neck. The natives have many stories about this creature, and one of the most interesting stories that I've heard of happened when a tribe of pygmies built a large bike fence in the water because this dinosaur was eating all their fish. But not too long after this fence was built, it broke through, so the pygmies had no choice, they had to kill it. Then they ate it, and every one of them who ate the meat died, making the pygmies believe that these creatures have supernatural abilities. 
and even some Western explorers claim that they have seen this broken down fence. Now there have been many expeditions into this region, but none of them have been able to get actual proof of this creature. But there is some alleged footage of Mokeli Memembe. In 1992, a Japanese expedition claimed that while they were flying over the Congo, they saw a huge animal swimming in the water. They couldn't believe how big this animal was, so they filmed it. And this footage is interesting, but many say that it's just an elephant or people in a canoe. Now just like in New Guinea, the Congo is extremely remote. So what's possible that a large animal like Mokeli Memembe could exist is just highly unlikely. But because of all these stories, people still to this very day go into this region hoping to finally get proof of Mokeli Memembe once and for all. Until next time, this is Paranormal Junkie. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned.